Whenever I think of the prophet Jonah, I have to smile. To me, he is one of the most comical and relatable characters in the Bible. God calls him to preach repentance to his enemies, the Assyrians, and he tries to get out of town by sailing away. God keeps after him, and he ends up in the belly of a whale for three days. He's thrown up on shore, and reluctantly he does his prophetic job and goes to the Assyrian capital and preaches, and the whole town is converted. But then my smile fades. Jonah is hopping mad at God for bringing blessings on his enemy. He's sulking on a hillside. A plant grows over his head to give him shade, and no, he seems satisfied. But as he sleeps, he awakens to find the plant is withered in the sun, and he has a terrible case of sunburn. He cries out to God with anger, wishing he'd be killed. (laughs) This nasty side of Jonah reminds me of the shadow side of each of us. We might be outstanding in our love of God and telling other people about Him. We might glory in the holiness that we project on others. But if we're honest, like like Jonah, there's another side to us, a side we don't like to admit to, a, a shadow side in all of us. Some people call it the plague of original sin. The theologian Paul Tillich put it well when he said that in each of us there's a certain delight at the downfall of a dear friend. (laughs) We do well to admit to this shadow side in ourselves. Facing it is one of the best ways of not allowing our nasty inclinations, our unchristian inclinations, to seduce us. With honest vulnerability, we turn to God and His loving support, His grace, and know that we can overcome. We live in the confidence that good is better than evil, and love is more powerful than hate. Lord, like like Jonah, there's a good side and a bad side of me. Stand by me when the evil shadow wants to take over. Help me to walk in the light. Amen.